What's up dude and dudettes, this is Froggy2K9 and today I'm bringing you another tutorial. This one is on how to sync your audio correctly. So, I've got for you here a video. This is an old video. I've already uploaded this, I just forgot to delete it. But, yeah, I've, I've got some audio as well. So this here is Pinnacle. What you want to do is you want to open up any editor you have. Just make sure it's an editor of some sort. This style of bar is... The better one to use. If it, if your editor uses this style, I don't even think you can seek your audio up correctly. So it has to be sort of this style. Um, this won't do. And uh, yeah, neither will anything else. So make sure make sure you got it in this view. I'm not sure what the view is called. I'm not a big not. I'm not anything like that. I just know how to do the basics. So yeah, I'm gonna hit that. And we're going to take the audio now. I've just named it audio. Now yours will be a probably a hell of a lot longer than this, especially if you've got a large lump of uh, of live commentary sessions. So you, yours could be up to an hour long or something. Now you want to save it all as one in first, and then split it up into ten minute segments. But what you want to do is you want to save it in the highest possible quality, and make sure that your editor doesn't reduce the quality over time. Pinnacle is one of those editors and so is Sony Vegas and they don't reduce the quality over time. What they do is the editors take their time through the recording to compile the video into or encode the video. It takes its time so that it doesn't it doesn't cause the graphic quality to reduce over time. So you want to make sure you have a good editor. I'm not sure what good editors for Mac would be. You guys can tell me that in the comments. So you want to line up your audio here. Now, say this is like two hours long. Now, the reason you make the loud noise in the beginning is, and I'm going to turn off the audio to my video a minute, and so you can just hear the commentary. So I'm going to set it to like minus 50, and that'll turn that audio off. So we, so now all you're going to hear is the audio commentary. Now this should be like say an hour, two hours long and you've played for like an hour and you've got an hour's footage worth there and you want to line up all your audio so it, so it syncs up. Now here's where making the loud noise comes in so I'm just going to let you listen here. Okay so as you heard the video started just, just here, just after this beep. So what I want to do is I want to go just in front of that beep, say just uh, just like a few millimeters, uh, millimeters, millimeters, yeah, millimeters. I think that's the one. Just like let's say really, really, really small gap between the start of the video there. And what you want to do is you just want to cut that. Whoops! I cut everything. Let me just put that back. This is the same audio file. There's nothing different about it. I've just accidentally cut the entire clip out rather than just cl cutting the audio into pieces. Right, okay. So, now what I'm going to do is, first of all, remove my volume changes from that audio clip. And I'm going to go along, again, to just in front of that, that beep. Because that's where my audio is going to start. And now I'm going to split the clip. Now, this could be anything. Okay, so it, sometimes it's cut. That's why I cut it. I forgot that it's on Pinnacle. It's split clip. I've been using um, Sony Vegas a lot, especially since I've just got it. I haven't installed it properly onto the computer because I'm still learning how to use it. But on my other computer, it's I've been, I've been playing around with it, making sure that there's no viruses inside and certain other things because of where I got it from but this Pinnacle works, I know Pinnacle works, Pinnacle is a brilliant program I highly recommend you use it I got it free of charge with my Dazzle so and my HD PVR came with uh, Total Media Extreme Total Media Extreme is a crap editor really good at recording but crap crap editor so yeah, use Pinnacle or another good video editor. And then you want to split the clip just in front of where that audio went off. So, yeah. 
So basically what's happened there is it's split my video instead, why I don't know, but I'm going to split clip. Okay, so now I want to delete that first part. Now when I synchronize this, when I play it here, okay as you saw there the video's just about started. So what I want to do is I want to go even closer and I just want to split the clip. Now you want to keep getting closer and closer and closer and that, remember this takes a long time. Sometimes it could take up to an hour to synchronize your audio. You might have to delete the entire thing and reboot the audio because you've messed up but as it should start right. As you heard there my audio started at the very beginning of the video because I split it down nice and slowly, broke it down into pieces, used the loud noise to use the loud noise to be your first little benchmark as to where the audio is supposed to start and then start talking after that so that no that noise is your benchmark that's all that is it's just a benchmark to cut the audio the nice big first chunk out and then you're going to do little tiny little splits if you need to zoom in okay on pinnacle right there you can zoom in and you can cut little tiny milliseconds off at a time sometimes your audio is off by milliseconds it's noticeable so I suggest you fix it but again this has been froggy 2 k 9 I this has been froggy 2 k 9 I hope that this has been helpful to you I will bring many more tutorials in the future please rate comment and subscribe if you are having any troubles please comment I will do tutorials for you if you need it as, as I say to many other people if I know how to fix it I will help you fix it I'm not one to withhold information because I think that you shouldn't know it or something like that certain things I will but with most with most things you know I believe that education should be completely free and this tutorials are is a form of education I've just taught you how to synchronize your audio so that's how you synchronize your audio this was an accident this shouldn't have happened and I probably would have if I was editing it correctly in my way I would have reloaded this video but for the sake of the tutorial I just split the clip there it is the audio is all synced up nicely when I play the video the audio starts see that the video is synchronized with the audio and I for some reason went on a little talk afterwards but oh well it's been froggy 2 k please rate comment and subscribe if it's been helpful please give it a thumbs up if it's been unhelpful give it a thumbs down happy days guys